when Jesuits get together and when they share issues, concerns, when they think about the Holy Spirit, when they share longings, aspirations, sure, language is a problem, but the deeper aspirations of our hearts, wanting to follow Christ, wanting to serve Christ, wanting to be with the poor, when that begins to, when you allow those kind of longings surface, the unity emerges. We're not Google or Microsoft. They do a needs analysis, they do, they do look, at the, look at the challenges, and they have a strategy. We look at the needs of the world, but we look, we try to look with the eyes of the Trinity, the compassionate gaze of God. So we look at all these challenges, migrants, poverty, indigenous people, secularization, loss of faith. And if you took them all on, without the Trinity being with you, you would get quite disheartened. But we look with the Trinity, we try to look from their perspective. And we also see the Trinity seeing us compassionately. They see our limitations, our sinfulness, our weaknesses, our strengths. And it's so essential that we have that perspective, that we don't lose sight, that we are trying to stand with Ignatius, with Francis Xavier, Peter Faber, and with the Trinity. Maybe it sounds pretentious, um, too much, but it's a prayerful stance towards the world and towards, towards ourselves. And that's what moves me in the entire, in the entire congregation.